AdWords campaign reporting. So in this section, we get all of the different AdWords related reports for in Google Analytics where we can equate equate AdWords spend with Google Analytics results. So to access this set of reports, we're gonna go left nav, acquisition, AdWords, and then campaigns. So the campaigns is the highest level report and it gives us an overview of each campaign that we're running, uh, roughly how many clicks we've had, the costs associated with it, and then conversion data. So let's look at some specific examples. We ran a mi mineral makeup campaign. We paid for about 1200 clicks from Google AdWords. That cost us about $751. Um, we know on the e-commerce side of things from that, we saw about 15 transactions and made back about $477. So at this level, you know, the campaign looks like we may have lost a little bit of money. Um, we know that in our makeup industry, there may be a, a longer term value to the customers we acquired. So uh, what else we might want to look at are the newsletter subscriptions, because we know those are very important to our business model. And again, that same mineral makeup campaign, while it sent us about 422 in revenue, also sent us 80 new newsletter subscribers. So we did get some additional value from that campaign as well. So uh, some takeaways from this, again, it's just a very high level view, each campaign you're running and roughly what you're spending and what you're making. Uh, and you can also drill into any of these campaigns to get more detail. So we, we know that in AdWords you have campaigns and within each campaign there are several ad groups. So we just click on a specific campaign and then we get that ad group view where we get uh, a little more detail at the ad group level to identify, you know, maybe there are specific ad groups that are uh, running well versus others that aren't and, you know, help us make our marketing decisions. AdWords Keywords Report. So the keywords report is a report that's going to give us a view of keywords that we're bidding on and then the subsequent behavior. So to access this, you're going to go left nav, AdWords, and then keywords. The AdWords keyword report gives us that view of different keywords that we're bidding on, how much they're costing us, and of course the conversion data. So anything we see in the left navigation here isn't necessarily what the end user searched for. It's more the keyword that we were bidding on, which triggered our ad to appear. And they're not exactly the same thing. We have a lot more on that on our AdWords course, but uh, you know, in general, they, they can be pretty close. So let's look at some specific examples. We're bidding on the keyword mineral makeup. We saw about 310 clicks from that. It cost us $211. Um, as far as conversions go, right now I have our newsletter subscription goal toggled here, and we saw about 26 newsletter subscribes from there. Um, but of course, as you know, we can quickly toggle over to the e-commerce view and take a look at that same keyword mineral makeup and we see about four transactions for $126. So we know that that particular keyword that we're bidding on brought back about $126 and obviously several newsletter subscribes. So I think the idea behind this report is much more granular. We can look at specific keywords, um, you know, and even kind of group different types of keywords and try to get a feeling for, you know, what's working and what's not. Um, sometimes this is a little bit too granular. Um, you know, we looked at the campaign and ad group report. Um, if the campaigns are well built, those tend to be a little more useful, but this will give you the general idea of specific keywords and what you're spending and, and what's pulling back. AdWords final URLs. This report gives us the final URLs or landing pages of our AdWords campaigns and some of the basic metrics that we want to look at. So to access this report, you're going to go left nav, acquisition, AdWords, and then final URLs. Let's jump right in to look at some examples of the final URL report. So what we are looking at here in the left column is the landing page of our ad. So in Google AdWords, we know that we bid on keywords. We know that we make an ad appear, and when the user clicks through, the landing page is where they go. So the example here is our home page, um, which acted as a landing page for about 1,200 visits and cost us about $184. Then we get all of the important metrics, such as behavior and conversion data, off to the side here. Uh, we can look at this mineral foundations page. So we run some ads specifically to a category page of mineral foundations. Cost us about 109 bucks, and we saw a couple transactions for about $64. Um, as with any of our other reports, uh, you know, when we're assessing the value of a campaign, um, we do want to look at the cost data and how much we brought back. And at the same time, um, not all of our conversions are revenue based, so we could look at newsletter subscriptions as well. And then we can see that a lot of these campaigns that maybe didn't drive as much, I'm sorry, a lot of these landing pages that maybe didn't drive as much in terms of revenue, you know, maybe brought on a lot of new newsletter subscribers, which we know are very valuable to us. 
Um, so these are the basic metrics we get. Um, again, the view is the landing page that was used. Um, the I think the important things to keep in mind here are that landing pages aren't independent. They're not the they're not the whole part of the formula. So um, if we look at a particular landing page, such as our home page, for example, we may have four or five different campaigns that use that as a landing page. And as a result, maybe two or three of those campaigns do really well with that as a landing page, but maybe the other three don't do very well. So um, what we really want to do before we just look at landing pages and make a decision that a landing page is either good or bad is consider all the different campaigns that run to it. Um, so a lot of times that means uh, drilling into the campaign level, which we looked at previously, and then looking at specific landing pages. So you could potentially take a campaign and run to two different landing pages and just compare the two. So at least at that campaign level, you know that the traffic sources are fairly similar. And when you put them through two different landing pages, it's a, it's a better, uh, it does a better job of telling the story of how good the landing page is. So we just want to encourage you not to just say that a landing page is not good because the numbers don't look good. Um, because a lot of times it's that traffic and the combination of where that traffic is coming from and what they're expecting um, in relation to that landing page. So just something to keep in mind with this one.